the chopper was used to single out the elephant within the conservancy. The Mara vet managed to get the dart into the elephant. The elephant went down, it was found to be an arrow wound. Without us here, it would be a catastrophe. I'm in charge of everything from administration through to anti-poaching ranges. My name is William, I'm the conservancy manager at Alara. The primary tasks that we fulfill every day is reconstructing or trying to rehabilitate the environment because the environment draws in the wildlife. There, there, there aren't fences per se put up for game parks in, in Kenya, so unless you have a conducive environment, we're not going to have any wildlife. When we got here, there was very little. Almost no grass on the ground. Um, a lot of the, the elephants had been, they were actually getting killed in those days because nobody was really per se, there's a few small operations that were helping with that, but nobody was really controlling it. When we first started we were finding more poached and dead elephant than what we were wounded ones. There were no Congoni, there were no Topi, there were no warthogs, there were very few hyenas, very few lions. Elephants were petrified. If you found a herd of elephants, they were running, they weren't walking. And I mean, you can see for yourselves now how relaxed the animals are. They know they're in a safe area. Without the community, we don't have a conservancy, so we have to balance the two on a constant basis, on even on a daily basis, to try and find an equal medium so that we can achieve the goals that we want to as far as conservation is concerned. We've got two over here now, one in Yamanyak's herd with an injury on the back and the other one was that one that we were looking for a while ago with Justin. Um, also, in the, they're both in the northern area, but I'm thinking if we've got two, we've probably got more. You'll see us on the ground over here. If you come over now, we're busy watching both herds at the same time. Bravo for Zuluan. Yeah, Mark will be bringing the chopper as well. I'm uh, Okay, that, the second herd, uh, I've told him the second herd is near to uh, to, 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 to uh, Old Chewy Dam over there now, but they'll probably find it from there anyway. As you can see, we're not a Mickey Mouse operation over here. <laughs> we had another call out from the rangers this morning now that they'd found two potentially wounded elephants in a herd within the conservancy. On eventually getting hold of Mara Elephants Project pilot and the Mara Veterinary team uh, they were mobilized. They took a while longer than what we would have liked to get here. They had to treat an elephant on the way that was also wounded, potentially due to human-wildlife conflict. Right now we're just busy trying to determine whether there are any more injuries within the herd before the, the helicopter returns. After treatment, the elephant was revived and has moved back off into the bush. My team is the, 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 the best guys you're ever going to find. We have 35 rangers over here, all of which are fully qualified wildlife officers. And they are dedicated. I mean, the, these guys, if, if we're out and we call them at 2 o'clock in the morning, they're there. You know, no, there's no questions asked. Not knowing what's going to happen during the day. And knowing that we're making a difference is, is I think, what gets us up in the morning. You know, it, it's not a 9 to 5 job. There are times that we will go 36, 48 hours without, without being able to put a head down. If we weren't here, things would be different. There, there, there probably wouldn't be a conservation effort. There probably wouldn't be wildlife. Um, we'd be overtaken by agricultural land and, and livestock. So we are the, the thin green line, if I can put it that way. 
as, as far as, as, as ensuring that there is continuity and a future for kids to be able to see what we've been speaking about. There are boots on the ground and there are lives on the line over here to ensure that any guest coming over here can sit in their vehicle and enjoy and, and just thoroughly relax.